Okay guys, uh, welcome to a new week. Uh, we're starting this week off with uh, back squats. Uh, so if you don't have a weight to follow the percentages, these percentages are progressively getting heavy today. Um, so if you do have the weight, good luck. But if you don't have the weight, um, you can do any type of loaded um, squat, be it a, a back squat just with, with less weight, um, or a front squat or dumbbell or hot object, whatever you got lying around. You're gonna do a loaded tempo squat for five reps. And the tempo today is all about time on tension. All right, so usually when we do our tempos, you see a big X for that concentric phase, uh, meaning explode, because we always wanna teach a, a proper application of force, which is hard and fast. We wanna drive against the weight. Um, but today, it's all about time on tension. So we're, you're gonna see the tempo is three, 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 zero, meaning, we're gonna grab your load, your racket, we're gonna do five, three, 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 zero squats, which is three seconds down, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, three in the hole, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, three seconds up, so you're not gonna explode, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, zero at the top. That was a really, really good job there of showing zero at the top. So you're always on tension over all five sets. Don't forget to breathe, but we want shallow breaths, okay? We, because shallow breaths will keep that core tension. Uh, we don't mean shallow breaths as in only breathing in your chest. We just don't want a lot of movement in your abdominal. We want that, that diaphragm to bring the air down right into your belly, but we don't want to lose core tension because of it, all right? We want to keep the core tension nice and tight and breathe through that tension, all right? So five reps, as soon as you put your bar down, you can do 10 speed squats unweighted. So this is isodynamic. Um, it's not really iso, but it's more like tempo dynamic. Um, and it, even if you go faster than that, let's get them on a good rhythm. Yeah, see how he's elevating a bit off the floor? That's okay as long as the heels find the floor um, on the way down, all right? So that's gonna be on a pace time today. Try to stay true to that tempo, time on tension, and then speed. So you're going time on tension, speed, back and forth, um, and, and this should uh, this should be good a good substitute if you don't have the prerequisite percentages for today. All right guys, so this workout's gonna be familiar, uh, the format anyway, so we're back to those four minute windows times five. Um, so this one is, uh, we should know the stimulus, we should be familiar with the stimulus. Um, it's anaerobic threshold, this is done hard and fast. Um, last week we told you to go very fast. Uh, this week, uh, because of the nature of the movements being like strict handstand push-up and uh, we need a little bit more control, um, what's gonna bring us that speed and uh, what's gonna help us go unbroken. The best is kind of a more smooth and, a, and methodical approach to our reps. So yeah, we wanna go unbroken, but we wanna show control over all of those reps, all right? So um, we're just gonna go through the at-home version today just so you guys can and if you don't have access to that stuff, you can kind of see what's going on. So um, instead, place of the calories in the rower, uh, this is the only equipment you'll need. Even if you don't have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, just try to use some objects that kind of might mimic this. So we're gonna go sumo deadlift high pole for 20 reps in place of that row. So sumo deadlift high pole, we just want that hip speed just like on the rower and that kind of finishing in that pull on the end. It's actually a very, very similar movement to pulling on a rower. All right, once you're done 20 reps there, you're gonna get into the two rounds. All right, so we're gonna get to the strict handstand push-up. This one, just like the squats, we want time on tension, but we do wanna explode up when we hit the floor. It's zero at the floor if we're thinking about a tempo, but time on tension, notice how besties, arms, core, everything is on tension, fired up, nothing is loose, and he's not bowing. As soon as we feel the core start to lose its tension, that's when we should kick down. Okay, even if we're not complete this full six reps, um, if you feel your core lose tension and, and you fight through that, it's gonna add uh, problems and issues later on in the workout. So um, save yourself, kick down, come back up, and that's how we'll build uh, strength a lot better than fighting through uh, like a collapsed core, all right? And then instead of the, uh, the dumbbell snatch, if you have like, if your dumbbell's too light for that, or if uh, you just don't have a dumbbell, we can do an RDL of reach. So that's a single leg RDL reach tap. We want nice smooth reps. We do want them to be fast, but there's gonna be a lot of balance and coordination in this. So we do have to be methodical like we talked about before. All right, so we, we do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Go through another round of that. 
and then boom, you're resting until that four minute mark. Hopefully you've given yourself uh, some time to rest by, by how fast you went in, uh, in that first part. So then we're doing it at times five. <laughs> so have fun, hit those anaerobic thresholds. And uh, this one, you guys know you've done it. This is your third time, I think, doing this, this format. This one's a doozy. <laughs>